high performance end. Uh, Toyota stopped producing Supra in the late 90s. So we wanted to pick up the sports car that Toyota had. Generally, we start you know, with the creative process. We start with large concept. Uh, in the car yet, so some kind of hint of where we want to go with this, kind of a roadmap. Uh, from there, once we establish that road, part of many process that brings us down to maybe six exteriors and six interiors, we go into a scale model, a small scale model, and then we go larger in the next step, and then parts, and, and from there it's just completes and paint. We paint it, then we get to enjoy kind of the, the fruits of our labor and, and take a look at you know what it finally looks like. The intent is to really show what to function as a front engine, rear drive car. We really want in the in the entire lineage of the 2000 GT. We're in this car, the lineage of that that straight six motor. So there's a long dash to axle. Cabin architecture is very snug and tight. The track is out really wide, and engine set which T. Uh, Top that actually has uh, two controllers, one per side, and the idea is functions that you need to for a real car, not uh, heads-up displays on fighter jets. We kind of got the idea that you know this is clearly kind of the best way to go. But, so all of the meters should be direct shot architecture. You're actually the projectile in that design. The seating design is everything else is hard shell. Fun seeing a car in motion. A lot of our development time is tied and drive on, on what we and they're never really were meant to be a static object so uh, when we see it in, in person at the end I think that's kind of the, the icing on the cake for, for you know and excited about everything we did every shape on this car had a sense of purpose we 